Our fourth example in solving a first order differential equation again involves a simple circuit. In this case we have a parallel RC circuit. So we'll start off with a current source. I sub S in parallel with a resistor R and a capacitor C. current is IR through the resistor and IC through the capacitor. So our polarity is here for the resistor. So it's the same and consistent with the capacitor shown here. So we're going to apply KCL again where the incoming current, sum of the incoming currents is the sum of the out going currents. Our incoming current is I sub S and our outgoing currents is the sum of IR plus IC. Now we note that uh, the voltage across the capacitor and the voltage across the resistor are equal so we can substitute in this case VR divided by C and then our current IC is just sorry this is R plus C dV dt well since V and R we'll just label that as V so here our current IS now is just V divided by R plus C dV dt. So here's our first order differential equation. We'll put it in standard form which is dV dt plus V over RC equal IS divided by C. Now we can solve this first order equation using the same techniques. Here we need to find the integration factor. In this case our integration factor E integrate 1 over RC DT and so our integration factor in this case is E to the T over RC. Now we note that dt on the left side will manipulate to be the integration factor same process as we did with the previous three examples and our dependent variable is V which is the voltage across the resistor as well as the capacitor and on the right side is just IS over C times the integration factor E over T divided by RC and we're going to integrate both sides of this equation. That leaves E T over R C times V on the left side. And on the right side is just I S times R. And integrating that, that's just R C E to the T R C plus constant C1, our integration constant. You see the C's cancel in here. We multiply or divide E to the TR divided by RC on both sides. That leaves V on the left. And on the right side is just ISR plus C1 E to the minus TRC. Again, we could divide E to the TRC on both sides of this equation, which yields this relationship. So this is our general solution to this equation, that differential equation shown here, and that's our solution. Now if we assume an initial condition where the voltage across the capacitor is zero, that then we can find the arbitrary constant C1. 
So that leaves IS R plus C1 e to the minus 0 over RC. But that's just 1. e to the minus 0 over RC is just 1. So that implies C1 equal negative IS times R. And then for our voltage, which is a function of time across the resistor and capacitor is equal to ISR ISR times 1 minus e to the negative t over RC. So this is our particular solution to this equation. So as t equals to zero in this case, our voltage across the resistor or capacitor is equal to zero. And as t approaches infinity, the voltage across the capacitor and resistor is just IS times R. In other words, all of the current right here all of the current after five time constants our time constant T T is equal to RC so after five time constants all of this current which is constants or current source goes through the resistor and then no current will go through the capacitor after that amount of time. So basically it's the voltage across this resistor is just I S times R after five time constants.